What is up everybody? It's another beautiful day here at Sly Customs and today we're going to play with Project Frankenchop. Stay tuned. Andrew's off running some errands this morning so I figured I'd try to stay productive and I think I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get some brakes on this thing. Wish me luck. As you've seen in previous episodes, if you're following along, <clears throat> we snagged some what we believe to be better brakes off of a uh, VTR 1000, I think we decided it was, in a junkyard. So I'd like to do my best to make these calipers and master cylinder work. We have the front brakes that were off the Virago, which I will probably try to steal the lines off of the Virago brakes. So that way they're like somewhat the right length because those appear that they will be way too short. Maybe hook up master cylinder and calipers using these lines so hopefully they line up a little better. And then I went ahead and pulled the rear brake master cylinder reservoir and lines and whatnot off of the Ninja. Because if you remember correctly, if you've been watching, the rear caliper that we got off of the VTR 1000 uh, didn't, or well, it had a brake line, but someone uh, got to it before we did in the junkyard and they just cut it off. So that doesn't really do us much good. We're doing our best to not have to like have brake lines made because uh, in case you can't tell, the spirit of this build is now Kind of a rat bike. Just uh, gonna do our best with what we have laying around. And so far we think it looks great, but feel free to tell us uh, otherwise if you uh, don't agree in the comments. So that's the plan. Hopefully it goes well. Hello there. <laughs> I'm back. All right, in the saddle. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> I 
we've got sorry <laughs> the rear brake line zip tied in place because we don't have foot pegs yet so we can't make brackets for those we don't know where they're going yet zip ties are perfect yeah we've got brake lines switched over to the master cylinder and the calipers we've got a caliper resting on the rotor and now we need to whittle down this piece of cardboard into a caliper bracket template yeah we're not going to use cardboard for the bracket but <laughs> yeah let's do this Well, the easy part's over. <laughs> Despite how difficult we made it seem, unfortunately that was the easy part. We got our template made out of cardboard. Now comes the hard part. We gotta turn this into a piece of steel. So, wish us luck.
It has been another amazing day here at Sly Customs. Good and productive. Working on Project Frankenchop. I believe at the beginning of the episode we said we wanted to get brakes on it. And we've done just that. Absolutely. We've kind of got the rear brake just mocked up for the moment. Still looking for forward controls, foot peg placement, that kind of thing. We got like two foot of linkage to cover. But, you know, we'll worry about that a different day. We're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, never mind that for a second. Turn your attention to these fully functioning front brakes. Sure. <laughs> We've got a Ninja master cylinder and brake lever. This first run of brake line is also from the Ninja. Down to the Virago. You probably can't see it, but the, the Virago brake line splitter thing. Both of these lines are off the Virago. Down into our... Sweet VTR 1000 calipers. Oh, mounted up on this sweet bracket. Sly Customs original. Yeah, Sly Customs. <laughs> We're trying to make customs on Sly Customs. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. But uh, anyway, fully functional. Brake. Brakes are bled and everything. We didn't really film that because it's. Kind of tedious. boring, tedious work. Yeah, we didn't enjoy watching it, so I'm sure you wouldn't enjoy watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, if you're enjoying the build, uh, give us a follow or a subscribe. Leave us a like or a comment. Let us know what you think. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>